In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can calculate Cohen's D effect size between two group means by using Microsoft Excel. Cohen's D is a type of an effect size between two means. There is no standard formula within Excel to calculate Cohen's D, but there is a step-by-step -step process to get around this. So the first thing you need to do is you need to have your two groups of data within Excel. So I have two groups here, group one and group two, and each have 14 data points. Now the first thing we need to do is to calculate the mean, the standard deviation and the n number. So the number of values in each data set. So what I'm going to do is do this for my first group. So let's click on an empty cell and to calculate the mean, I'm going to type in equals average open bracket and then select by click and dragging on the first data set. Close the bracket and press the return key. I'm going to repeat this for the standard deviation. So it's equals STDEV for standard deviation, open bracket, and then click and drag again on the cells containing the data, close the bracket, press the return key. And then for the N, this is obviously the number of observations you can either manually count this if you have a small number of observations or you can use the count formula within Excel. And to do this, we do equals count, open bracket, click and drag on the data set, close the bracket, press the return key. So this is where Excel will count the number of values within that data set. I'm just going to repeat this process for group two. So now we have the mean, the standard deviation, and the n number for groups one and two. Now we can start working out the Cohen's D. In this tutorial, I'm going to use a slight variation of the Cohen's D original formula, and this is termed Cohen's DS. I've discussed the differences between these Cohen's D formulas in a separate video tutorial, so I recommend you check that out. But essentially, the Cohen's DS formula can handle the n number, so it can account for unequal group sizes between the two groups whereas the original formula only requires the mean and the standard deviation and assumes that the two groups have equal group sizes. So let's get back to calculating the Cohen's D. So to start with, you need to calculate the difference between the two means. Now to do this, I'm going to click on an empty cell and type in equals. I'm going to select my first group, mean, and then subtract the second group mean, and then press the return key. So the difference in this case is negative 0.24. And it's a negative value obviously because my first group has a smaller mean than my second group. Next, we need to calculate the pooled standard deviation. So the formula to calculate the pooled standard deviation for the Cohen's DS is presented on screen. Now it looks complicated, but it actually isn't. And all we need to do is enter the N number and the standard deviation where appropriate. So to do this in Excel, it will look like this. So I'll click on an empty cell and I'll type in equals. And we want to do the square root. And to do this, it's SQRT, open bracket. And then I'm going to open two more brackets. And then I'm going to select the cell that contains the end number for my first group, which is this one here. And then I'm just going to subtract one and then close that bracket. And then we need to multiply by the standard deviation of the first group as well, which is this cell here. And that is to the power of two. So that's the first section. Then we need to add, open bracket, the end number for the second group, which is this cell here, minus one, close the bracket, multiplied by the standard deviation of the second group squared. So to the power of two, and then close the bracket. And then we want to divide all of that by open bracket, the n of the first group, which is this cell here again, plus the n of the second group, which is this cell here again, minus two. Close the bracket and then close the final bracket. So that is the formula to calculate the pooled standard deviation. And then I'm gonna press the return key. So the pooled standard deviation is 0.288. Now to calculate the Cohen's DS in this case, 
you need to divide the difference between the two means, which is this cell here, by the pooled standard deviation. And simply in this cell here, we're going to type in equals the difference between the two means divided by the pooled standard deviation. Press the return key. So the Cohen's D value in this instance is negative 0.83. So you'll notice that the Cohen's D value is actually a negative value. And this is because my second group has a greater mean value than my first group. The whole thing that defines whether the effect size is negative or positive is the order that you put in the mean values in the first part of the equation. So for example, if I removed this and flipped the equation round, so I entered my second group first, and then subtract the first group, and then press the return key, notice that the value for the Cohen's D now is positive 0.833. So always bear that in mind when you're understanding and reporting your output from the Cohen's D results. So in this video tutorial, you've learned how to use Microsoft Excel to calculate Cohen's D effect sizes. Did you like this video? Be sure to give it a like or leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified when a new video is added.